Is there a difference between men's skincare and women's skincare? Well, there is a huge difference between men's skincare and women's skincare, and that's why you shouldn't take Rachel's stuff and you should have I your own thing. Don't, her don't steal her things because your skin and men's skin in general is really different. And there's three main areas that are different. One, men are usually have more oily skin mm -hmm. because there's a lot of testosterone in your body and testosterone stimulates more oil. So you want to lighten up. You want to have lighter lotions and gels and hyaluronic acid and avoid the heavy creams and ointments. And then the second thing is a lot of my male patients come in and they say, I just feel puffy in the morning. My under eyes are puffy. He complains about that. That yeah. happens yeah. sometimes. And it's because everything in the male skin is bigger, right? You have bigger muscles, you have thicker skin, you have more fat under your skin. So we have to kind of address that in a different way. Okay. And then the third thing is facial hair. Yeah. So I, a lot of men are sporting the post COVID beard these days. And so- John's was you there pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, yeah. Pre -COVID, yeah. yeah. It was there a few <laughs> years before COVID. So you have to use things that are gonna blend into your, your skin right. Your beard hearing area, as well as you know, dealing with shaving issues. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I only shave here right. and here. Right. Yeah. My beard yeah. isn't that long, so no. do I need like a beard oil or anything, or am I co okay just to? So like a beard lotion. oil is fine, but just regular shampoo is important as well. But also the the oh, lotions and things we're going to talk about really should blend into the hair bearing area. Yeah, so, so what do we what talk. do we got here? So there's two main things you have to think about. You're going to do a morning routine to protect your skin, and you're going to do an evening routine to repair your skin. So there's two two main areas. Right. But when you wash your face, you want to do something mild because men's skin can be a little bit sensitive after shaving. I know this. I see this all, everywhere. Yeah, it's in the drugstore. It's it's fragrance-free. It's non-irritating. It's moisturizing. So stick with something along those lines, something really okay. gentle. Now, in the morning, people are puffy, right? And that's what we were mm. talking about. So these eye rollers are really going to be one of the best things to reduce the puff. Oh, wow. And they roll on really gently like this. And you want to put it from the middle of your face out because this is how the natural fluid removes from our body. So you always want to roll middle way. Out. Yeah, in or out. Yeah. And that will help reduce the puffiness. And do you have to keep that in the fridge or chill no, it or anything? No, it's naturally cool and it has some caffeine to shrink the fat pads as well as to wake you up a little bit. Oh, caffeine? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to drink this. Thing. Yeah. No, no. You can no. drink it. No, no. So <laughs> as the next step is just to protect your skin with an antioxidant. I love vitamin C's. A few drops go everywhere. And then put a moisturizer on. Like I said, keep it light. I love this Neutrogena Hydrogel, which has high Hyaluronic acid, very light, doesn't clog the pores. And what and does the hyaluronic acid do for him? Hyaluronic acid is just a moisturizer. It brings gotcha. water into the skin, but it's not going to feel heavy, and it's going to blend really well into your hair bearing area, so you can put it everywhere. Ooh. And then the, even I like have hair bearing, bearing areas. areas. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I guess, what we call it in dermatology. <laughs> um, but the last and the most important step, Rachel always hits this one home, and mm -hmm. I really appreciate it, is don't forget the sunscreen. But it's so important. Yeah. And it, it, it doesn't matter if it's winter. It yes. doesn't matter if it's cloudy. Yes. It doesn't matter if you live in a cooler climate. Sunscreen is for every day, right? It's for every day, but men need slightly different sunscreen. Oh, okay. Absolutely right. Oh. So everybody, I really like these physical sunscreens that are zinc and titanium dioxide, and you can find that on your label. But there are ones that are, for men, you want it to be clear. So it's you want to find these very small micronized particle sunscreens that say clear. They may say sheer. They may say transparent. So that when you put it all over your face and even into the beard area, it's not going to show. So yeah. that's It really won't important. crust up on yeah, his beard. Yeah. Right. And then you don't really have this problem, John, but a lot of my guys have their, their ears exposed. So you right. want to make sure you hit your ears. And if you're losing hair, don't forget to put it on your scalp as well. Okay. So yeah. even for a gentleman with a beard or a Mustache, you put it even over put the skin. Put it everywhere. I mean, hair is protective, and especially dark hair is better than light hair. But just you want to put your sunscreen everywhere. But especially men who are losing hair, I, I want them to put it on their scalp right. as well. Yeah, you're looking pretty yeah. good. You're back looking there, great babe. hair. Don't worry. Don't be like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> knocking all these things yeah. over. So you get, a, you get off easy at night. I think guys have a pretty simple nighttime routine because you're not taking off makeup. So usually you can just rinse your face. And then this is all about protecting an anti-aging. It's retinol. And a pea-sized amount goes on the whole face. Yeah, this, this is, is a This is a small one. And mm -hmm. you want to put it on, you usually have to start in the middle of your face out because those are the oiliest parts of your face. Mm -hmm. And it helps with fine lines, it helps with wrinkles, and it helps with acne, which is really, you know, a problem a lot of men still have. Yep. And then keep it easy. Use that same moisturizer all over your face at night right after the retinol.